surprise everybody stay tuned till the end because we are going to be doing a impromptu giveaway Welcome back, my fellow VapCappers. Today we are doing another one-year update, the FMJ by the Simrel Collection. This, honestly, has been one of the best upgrades to a DynaVap that I have and have bought or spent money on. It is honestly something that I use every day in one material or another. On the low end, it's a $10 upgrade for your cap that is a real game changer. And in the last year, a lot of things have come out in answer to the FMJ when everyone saw that there was a need for something like this in the community. The things that came out were the stainless steel, a gold, and Dynavap's answer, the armored cap. Before we jump into the three types of FMJs, I'm going to talk a little bit about the armored cap and why on the regular I tend to lean a little bit towards the FMJ. The armored cap is the armored cap. That is all there is. While I really like what Dynavab did and their answer was of course to go above and beyond and not just make a jacket for a cap, but to make a full on thicker cap. And boy, when you get this thing dialed in, it does work. And I tend to use this on my water piece at home. But the reason why the FMJ is just a little bit on the favored side for me is two main reasons. Reason number one, it's a singular experience with the armored cap. As of right now, Dynavap has not released a low temp version. You get what you get. And if you get click discs from the factory that are a little hot or a little cold, you just have to live with that. The other thing with the armored cap is it is incredibly difficult to adjust. If it's tight on your tip, the way you have to adjust it is to cram something in there and pry it open. But if you pry it open a little too much and now it's loose, or you have another tip that is just a micron smaller than the tip you usually use it on, the armored cap becomes very loose and has risk of falling off, which is a little scary with a Dynavap. That's why I tend to use it on my water piece where it's sitting upright most of the time. Now, on to the FMJ. We'll start with the base baseline, the original, the copper. At $10, this is a great easy upgrade for your Dynavap. It adds heat retention and makes it so you don't have to spin the Dynavap anymore and really set off a wave in the community for how to use a Dynavap. And I've heard you guys, I've read on, I've read all the posts about copper. You know, I'll touch on that a little bit. The first thing, copper oxide on the outside. I'm no scientist and I'm also not a doctor, so a lot of this is just my observations. But one thing I can say is that a lot of the black that you see on the outside of the cap isn't necessarily copper oxide and is actually your fingerprints or dust or pocket lint or whatever dirty other things that get on a cap and then you take a torch to it and heat it and those things are burning, leaving a little bit of soot on the outside. And that's really where a lot of the tarnish comes from. And as far as the health concerns with copper oxide, well, I've been using my copper FMJ for the better part of a year daily, many times a day. And unrelated to anything, I recently got my yearly physical and a bunch of blood work done. And guess what? They didn't find anything crazy and I still feel healthy. Now, where that'll be in 10, 20 years, or if copper oxide really is a problem, I can't really speak to it, so I don't really know 100%. But I can tell that a lot of that is just people on the internet finding something to complain about. So to wrap up about the copper, to showcase one of the reasons why I like the FMJ is my copper one lives on a low temp cap, and this is a great experience to get really low temp tasty hits out of a Dynavap and you don't have to rush and really race that cool down click especially with the low temp caps when the cool down clicks happen really fast. And all that being said, at $10, this is almost a no-brainer of an upgrade. In answer to some of the issues with copper, as well as a section of the community really liking induction heaters, Simrel recently came out with the stainless steel FMJ. Now this is actually the third FMJ to be released, but I'm talking about it now because it's actually the second in line as far as price goes. This FMJ clocks in at $20. It's twice the amount of the copper one, but it's made out of stainless steel. So if you had some second thoughts about maybe health concerns of the copper, or you just really didn't like that it tarnished, now you can get the stainless steel one. Along with not tarnishing like copper does, and being the same material that the caps are made out of, now your FMJ is induction heater compatible. While you can put the copper one in an induction heater, but it kind of defeats the purpose of what's happening. Because in an induction heater, since 
this copper is not reactive, you're going to be heating up the cap and the copper is going to pull the heat away from the cap into the jacket, moving the wrong direction. Yes, it works. Do you want to do it? Not really. With the stainless steel one, because the cap and the jacket are both induction reactive, when paired with a stainless steel tip, man, does this thing kick. The only thing that I've noticed with the stainless steel jacket is that you have to be a little picky choosy about which induction heaters it works in. It does work in the wand, as well as for me, I took the glass cup out of my FFP, put some cork at the bottom to keep it away from the computer chips, and it fits in there just wonderfully. Last up, the creme de la creme the gold FMJ. This was the second FMJ that came out in the series and the priciest, clocking in at $50. The gold FMJ really is about aesthetics. Well, kind of. It actually is also about heat transfer. Gold has amazing heat transfer properties. And with a copper core on the inside and gold plating on the outside, you get all of the benefits from the copper FMJ with no tarnishing, better heat transfer, and boy, does it look good. This FMJ here, I have used every day, multiple times a day since the gold FMJs came out. And that was maybe six months ago. And it looks brand new. I've never had to clean it. I've never had to wash it off. I've never had to do anything. No ISO. Literally, I have not done any sort of upkeep on this FMJ and it is still really shiny and gold. One time I did get a little black dot over here from something that maybe I picked up on a table or something weird and all I did was blast it with a little uh, torch and it came right off. The only thing with the gold FMJ that you have to be aware of with a torch that's too powerful, you can actually remove the gold plating. So you're really going to want to stick to a small single torch. The other thing with the copper one, which is actually really good if you're just getting into the world of FMJs, or even if you're just starting with Dynavaps, is that when you use the copper FMJ, when you point the torch at it, it starts to have a little polished spot where it glows. It really shouldn't glow red, but you'll see a spot where the torch kind of polishes it off and makes it a really good visual indication for how hot you're making the cap. If you're going to go the gold FMJ, I suggest getting a copper one first. Spend the $10 to really learn how to dial in your FMJ experience and then jump to the gold so you won't ruin it. So to wrap up why I like the FMJ, well, the versatility is great, the different materials are great, and the fact that I can put it on any cap that I like is a really big bonus for me. If you're a Dynavap enthusiast and you know that caps all have their own personality as far as to how far the clicks are away from each other or how hot or cold it'll make your hit, then you'll understand the value of being able to take your jacket and put it on whichever cap you want to experience that day, like low temp, high temp, or induction. Well, that's it for all of the FMJ talk. Now let's put the gold one to action since it is my favorite. Today's setup is going to be on the mini turbo twist with the 9-fin SE since we are talking about Simrel products. Let's give this thing a go. All right, get my single torch and you want to just point it right at the S, put the S right at the tip of the flame and just hold it there. No need to spin and you just wait for the clicks. If I do double deckers or concentrate bowls, what I'll do is I'll hold the VAP cap like this so all the concentrate melts to the bottom. First click, second click. <coughs> Woo -wee. Mm. Man, three really nice pulls, great flavor, and I didn't feel like I had to rush for anything. I'm going to use my handy dandy decapper here, and we're going to check out that ABV. All right, a nice dark brown color, perfect for where I like to go, not too far. I know a lot of you really like to push that really dark ABV, which is totally possible with the FMJ. Just a great upgrade, whether you, whether you like induction, torches, doesn't matter, the FMJ by Simrel Collection. And as always, stay lifted. For all of you that stuck around until the end, we're gonna be giving away an FMJ because we just did this movie on FMJs. So we're doing a Giving Tree FMJ giveaway. And all you have to do to enter, put hashtag Giving Tree with your favorite candy in the comments. And now for the fine print. Please see the description below for the full rules on the giveaway. Must be 21 and over to enter. Thank you. Stay lifted.